Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So it's my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today is the Daisy Chain and Clusters Blanket. So this is a really nice idea. I was looking at the child and I was like what are you actually lying on because it looks like there's some fun stitches in behind. So lo and behold I opened up the pattern and I saw some really cool stuff. So it's like a stitch sampler. So what we're looking at here is a multiple of two different stitches. We have the cluster stitches and also the Daisy Chain that I've never done before. So it's saying to us to chain 202. My friends I have spent two hours trying to figure out what the multiple of this is. I have notes everywhere. I even overlaid them on Photoshop. I cannot figure out how to change the size. So if you're gonna email me and say how do you change the size? I really don't know the answer to that and that's on the honest to God's truth. So I'm going to chain 202 uh, off camera when I'm going to work through this. So I'm going to actually physically do the width in order to make sure that it does work for you. Recommending a size F as in Frank uh, crochet hook. That's a 3.75 millimeter. I am using a 4 uh, millimeter size G on camera. I'm also going to be using Karen Tweeds as my yarn of choice today as well. So the two different diagrams are available on page number 3. So you see the diagram 1 and 2. So we're going to start off with the clusters. And you'll notice that there's a grouping of 4 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4. The okay. second portion here is the daisy chain. So the daisy chain is like bands that are put in and then it goes back to a cluster. So this is a really neat idea. If you would like to do something like this here are the diagrams and without further ado we're gonna get started in today's project and we're gonna need a size F a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook in order to play. So let's get started. We need to chain 202 suggesting that you mark the 50th stitch with a stitch marker if you wish. If you can keep count then don't worry about it. So just uh, start and chain. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Go all the way to uh, 202 for me. i meet me back here in just a moment. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go fifth chain from the hook. So let's start our first row. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And turn it around to get the back hump of the fifth chain. And we're gonna do a cluster and these clusters have three double crochets that make them up. So we're gonna wrap the hook and go into the fifth into the back hump only. And just yarn over, pull through, pull through two and hold. And then do that again. So yarning over, same stitch, pull through, pull through and hold. And then one more time, yarn over, pull through, pull through two and hold. Once you have four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all four. And now you're going to chain one. You're going to skip two chains. So one, two, go to the third and you're going to uh, single crochet there. And then you're gonna start a new cluster. To do that, you will chain three to begin. So one, two, three. Go to the next stitch, okay, the next chain and do the cluster. So yarn over, going in, pull through, pull through two and hold and do that a total of three times. And you're gonna patiently go through your chain and do this. Once you have your four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all four, chain one, skip the next two chains and then going into the next. By going into the back hump of the chain you'll notice that it's very easy to see what stitches that you need to skip and it's a great little tip. I learned that many years ago. So chain three to start a new one and then cluster into the next chain. So when we go to do the daisy part that you'll see in the future these clusters are only two double crochets and not three. So there is a slight difference of the clusters. Once there's four loops pull through all four, chain one, skip the two next chain and single crochet. So I'll leave the rest of this row to you to go all the way across and it will look similar to that. Well it should look like that and I'll see you at the end of the chain. So I have the last cluster here. I'm gonna chain one and I'm only gonna skip one chain not two and then at the very end here what I'm going to do then is just single crochet and then chain two and then double crochet right into the very last one. Now there is 49 clusters in this thing all the way across. So I did verify that there was 49 when I went across. If for example something is wrong you do need to get to 49 and if you're missing a chain or whatever at the end just fake it and throw something in there like the double crochet or whatever and things will tend to balance out. So I wouldn't uh, worry your head over that at all. So now we're going to turn and work and we're gonna start the clusters going back and forth. So this is one row out of 
three out of four that we have to do. So we have to do uh, three more rows of this and how you're gonna get started is how you're gonna do all of them. So to start the next row, nice and simple. So the hard stuff is pretty much done because you've had to count the chains. Now you can just look for the spaces. To start the next row, you're going to chain a total of four. So one, two, three, four. In this chain two space right here, you're going to apply a cluster. So you already know how to do that. And then you're gonna pull through all four loops and then chain one. And then you're going to reach over to the next chain three space that's leaning over and you're gonna single crochet in there first and then chain three to start a new cluster and then do your cluster in that same spot. This is very much like uh, uh, C to C but it's done as a rose. So pull through all of them once you have four loops, chain one, come to the next chain three space, single crochet first, chain three and in the same spot cluster. I want you to do this all the way across. Now I'm gonna have you do all of the rest of the rows. So there's a total of four all together which includes this first one and uh, when you go to do that um, you're just gonna do, you're just gonna maintain that. So I'm gonna show you how to finish off a row and then I want to leave that with you and then after that we're then gonna start and uh, prep our way, uh, prep, uh, do the preparations for the next daisy area. So please just uh, cluster all the way across and then I'll meet you there how to, fin how to finish a row and then you'll do the other two rows on your own. Uh, I also recommend at this point when you're going to do this, I think we should do this right now actually. Um, take a stitch marker. So we're currently working on the second row. So what I want you to do is just turn it around from where you were and apply a stitch marker in. And this will tell you when it's the right side of the project. It does matter. So this will help you to identify that. So if you put it there when you're on the back side you won't see it. So you always know which is the right side and which is the wrong side. So cluster your way all the way across and I'll see you at the end of the row. So I'm just finishing my last cluster before I come to the very end and I'm just gonna chain one. I'm gonna go into my last chain three space, single crochet, chain two and do a double crochet in the last space as well. Now I already showed you how to start these clusters. So when you go to start the next row, so remember in the very beginning of this blanket you only need four of these rows. So you got two done so far. So you just start up and then you just chain a total of four. So one, two, three and four and then do a cluster in the chain two. You already know how to do a cluster at this point. So just do it. Don't think just do. Do the cluster, chain one, go to the next chain three space, single crochet and then chain three to start a new cluster and then go all the way across and finish it uh, the row just like I showed you. So when we come back then I will have uh, those four rows complete and then we'll do uh, something new and uh, blow your mind even more. So to get that done and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So last time that I left you we were just working the cluster. So I have one, two, three and four. So now I'm ready to move on in this pattern. In order to move on we have to convert this into a flat spot. There's a really interesting twist to this though. So what I want you to do is stay where you are and pull the other side of the project and we're gonna mark it with a stitch marker. You can either count the number of repeat or you can just look at it and make that decision when you get there. So when we go to do this particular pattern is that we are just going to want to mark, we want to mark the last section here. So let me just figure that out here and therefore we can do a repeat until we get to that mark section and then we finish off the final area correctly. So what I want you to do is that I want you to find the last chain three and count that one plus the next one and the next one. And that's where we're going to uh, do our fun stuff. So put in a stitch marker in the cluster there just to hold its spot so that you can see it when you get there. Because the last three that we're gonna repeat three times is going to be one, two and three. And so if you can mark it now you can just easily just do this all the way across. So let's go back to the other side and now let's begin to do our repeating section all the way across. So the repeating section consists of doing two things. 
that you need to repeat. So not everything happens the same on top of each one of these clusters. So let's just slowly begin. We're going to chain one and we're gonna do one single crochet in the double crochet. We're gonna do a single crochet in the next chain space. That's a chain two space. And then one single crochet in the next single crochet. And then one single crochet in the top of the cluster. In the next chain three space we're gonna put three single crochets in. So one, two, and three. One single crochet in the next single crochet. One single crochet in the next cluster. And then two single crochets in this chain three space. And that's the end of the repeat. So let's go through the repeat one more time. So starting in the first one we're gonna do just jumping over and it's going to be, let's just see where that, one single crochet in the next single crochet, one single crochet in the cluster, three single crochets in the chain three space, one single crochet in the next single crochet, one single crochet in the next cluster, And then finally two single crochets in the next chain three space. I'm going to repeat that one more time. So we just have to keep repeating that. It's a long repeat. So let's begin. So one into the single crochet, one into the cluster. Three single crochets in the chain three space. So one, two, three. One single crochet in the next single crochet one single crochet in the next cluster and then two single crochets in the next chain three space. And I need you to repeat that all the way across till you get to that stitch marker that I showed you. And then um, we're gonna then just change gear right at the very end. So please repeat this all the way across. So I've come all the way across. Now I have actually just finished on the end of the repeat and my next one has been marked with a stitch marker for the last thing. Where I have finished is actually the end of a repeat. So I'm going to assume that I did that 22 times like as far as the repeat. So when I was counting in my head I went one, two, three. So I put three in and then one, two and then two and then I put the two in for that second one. So I went one, two and put in three and one, two, put in two. So that's kind of what I said in my head. So now we're gonna finish up the final here. So I have here and I've just finished the final two that are in here. So let's begin the final process then is that we're gonna do one single crochet in the, sing in the single crochet and I've got the next one marked with the stitch marker. So in the next one here it states that we have to put in uh, one into the next cluster. And then in this chain three space we're only gonna put in two single crochets. So one and two and we have to repeat that three times. So one into the next stitch, one into the cluster and then this is the second last chain three and you're only putting in two in there. And then finally we're putting one into the last one here, the single crochet, one into the cluster and then in the end here you're gonna put in two single crochets in the end and then you are gonna put one single crochet in the second chain in the turning chain and that will conclude off that and therefore you should have balance. So we're gonna turn our work and we're now going to look at doing the daisy next. Before we begin to do the daisy we are going to finish off the yarn. So just snip it and I would um, secure it in with the tapestry needle. This is a baby blanket so I would take that extra time now to secure that in and then just put it through a tapestry needle and put it through the work a total of three times. So just coming through just drag it underneath the stitch work. So once 
and when you pull on it don't change the shape of the, the border. And second time and three times. So now we're gonna be ready for the next color and the next color we're gonna get ourselves started and you will see this in the diagram. So let's pull up the diagram next. So in the diagram here is that we've already established ourselves to begin to work on this. So the daisy here is that um, we've already put in our single crochets here from the cluster that we just finished and so now we're gonna begin the fun stuff of just establishing these spaces for where the daisies sit in. So let's take our um, next color and let's have some fun with that. So let's grab that next. So in this one here we're going to start off, I would do a standing single crochet if it were me. So put it onto the hook and go into your very first stitch. And just wrap the yarn around, pull through, pull through and then you have two loops and then pull through the two. So that's a standing single crochet. So we have to get our, our spaces right for this one here. So we're gonna use every one of these stitches we're good, but we are gonna skip over um, certain ones. So let's begin. We're going to chain up one and we're gonna skip the first one and single crochet in the next. So the ends are unique in the way that they are finishing and start are starting and finishing. So let's begin to do your repeat going all the way across. Chain three, so one, two, three and just remember you just did three so you're gonna skip three. So one, two, three, go to the fourth. And you need two chain three spaces in a row. So chain three, so one, two, three, skip three and single crochet the fourth one. Now we're gonna create the center point of a daisy. So the first center point was actually this chain one here. That was a half center point but here's gonna be a full one. So chaining two, skip two and single crochet in the next. That's the end of the repeat that goes across. So let's start a new repeat. So we need to do two sets of these chain three spaces and finish it with a chain two space. So chain three to begin, skip two, or sorry skip three. So yeah, so chain three, skip three, sorry. And then chain three, skip three and go to the fourth and now create a chain two space. So chain two, skip only two and single crochet in the third and you're gonna keep repeating that all the way across. So if you're really looking at it carefully, you will see two larger spaces and then a smaller space as you're doing that. So please do this all the way across. So I'm coming up all the way to the end and I'm on the third last stitch. It is like a miracle my friends. So chain up one and one single crochet at the end. So um, I had such a hard time filming this earlier because I was doing swatch work but it actually works out as a baby blanket. Who would have thunk eh? So let's uh, continue. We're gonna move on to the next row. Now we're gonna start the fun stuff with the daisies. Um, you may wanna take a quick look through just to make sure that you did get your chain two spaces where they should have been and uh, that was something. It took me a little bit longer because I was second guessing myself but I kept looking back. So I think that's probably why I ended up in the same, the right amount. So just be a little more cautious in the last round. Let's begin round number two or row number two. So we're gonna chain up three counts as a double crochet and in this chain one space I need you to do cluster work. The clusters this time are only two double crochets instead of three. So wrap in the hook, go right into the space, pull through, pull through two and hold and do it one more time. So wrap and into the space, pull through, pull through two and hold and you will pull through all three loops. Now when you're doing this as daisies you're gonna then chain two and you're gonna put in another cluster in there. So the first one is only half a cluster like a half of a daisy. So once that one's in, chain one because it's the last one and reach over and this is, there's a chain three here, chain three here, this is a single. So that's where you're gonna go. So single in the single. So chain one and now you're gonna start a full daisy in this chain two space. So to do that you're just gonna wrap and make your clusters. And in between the clusters, chain two and keep adding more until you get a total of four of those clusters. There's another one, so chain two, another cluster. It's the third one, chain two to move on. And that's the last one. Once the last one is in, 
So one, two, three, four, chain one and then reach over and it's a single crochet that's resting in between two chain three spaces. I want you to do that all the way across and so you're just putting in these full clusters. So just chain one, go to the chain two space. So skipping this one right to the chain two and do your cluster and don't forget the chain two between them. So I just keep adding clusters until I see four and putting chain twos between them. And when the fourth one is in chain one, reach on over to the single crochet. It's resting in between the two chain three spots and etc. and do this all the way across. So I'm coming up to the very final here just chain up one and just a single crochet in the next single crochet and in the very end we have the half daisy. So chain up one, go into the chain one space. You're doing your first cluster. Chain two to separate it as always and then another cluster. Okay. Sorry, it's almost supper time and then going into the last single crochet with the double crochet. Now the pattern has us changing the color back to the original. I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna get rid of this color and I'm gonna weave in my ends and I'm going to show you um, how to do the next uh, rows. So I'm just for fun going to make the actual daisies with the brown tweed just for fun. So I guess I have three colors going on in this instead of two. Again, your creativity, you can decide what works for you. Turn your work and now let's begin and start doing the daisies. So now I'm ready for the next row and I want to do the underside sweeping of the daisy and I'm gonna use the gray here and we're going to continue our journey. So starting at the top of the chain or sorry starting at the top of the double crochet you're just going to sweep it under and just do a standing single crochet. So now what we're going to do is chain up three. So one, two, three and coming into the first cluster. So you only want to play within the clusters. So right here. So cluster one, two and then this one, one, two. So the halfway point is the half of the cluster, or sorry, the half of the daisy. So you're gonna sweep up underneath collecting all those and then sweep again. So starting in the first cluster, you're gonna do a cluster Then you go to the next cluster and do a cluster. Noticing that I'm not chaining anything in between them. So do that one. Now come to this cluster here. So sweeping up the other side. And then do the last cluster. So you see it wants to sweep in underneath so it's kind of pulling together. Once you've done all those clusters, chain three, so one, two, three and end this half moon shape that you see, the shell, it's the space that's in between the halfway point. And then you're gonna restart again. So chain three to begin. So cluster in the first cluster. Then jump to the next cluster and cluster. Jump to the next cluster. And then finally jump to the next cluster. So there's four in a row. Then chain three. And then go into the space in between. So I want you to do that all the way across and I'll see you at the end of this row. So I'm coming up all the way across and I'm just doing my clusters where they should be. And then finish off chain three and then single crochet into the last turning chain. So now we're gonna do turn our work and do the center point of this section. So we need to establish the new center point which is here. And okay, so we have to watch out for this. So here's the special counting. Let's begin. So we're gonna chain one and it's gonna be one single crochet in the single crochet. And we're gonna chain three. So one, two, three. We're gonna come into the top of the first cluster of the grouping of four, single crochet and we're gonna create the center point and the center point if you remember has a chain two. So we're only gonna chain two 
and then come into the last cluster of that grouping and single crochet. So then we're going to chain three. So one, two, three, single crochet in the next single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, and then single crochet in the first cluster and we're about to create another center point. So chain only two, one and two and single crochet in the last cluster. So chain three, single crochet in the next single, chain three, go into the first cluster, create the next center point by only chaining two, go into the last cluster, chain three, single in the next and etc. and please do that all the way across. When you come to the very end, you're in the last cluster here, chain three and then in the single crochet, you're going to single crochet here. So now let's turn our work and now we're gonna do the overside of that daisy. It's exactly what you did already here. The difference is that we're just gonna start at a different spot. So we started with a half a daisy here. This time we're not gonna do that. So this time it'll be chain one and you are going to put in a single crochet in the first single and then start your daisy. So the daisies will be a full daisy right off the hop. So to begin you're going to chain up one and in the chain two space. So just look for the center of these daisies and in the chain two space you're gonna cluster and then chain two between them like you did before and put in another cluster and then chain two and another cluster then chain two and then finally the fourth one. So after the fourth one's in chain only one single into the next single crochet over here. So just pass that chain three space and then begin again. So chain one and then go to the chain two space which is the center of that daisy and do that all the way across. So now that that's in on the last cluster we're going to chain one and we just have to single crochet to the last single crochet and we have to change our color back. So let's finish off this color and then we're gonna bring back the white to fill this in and then we end up going back to clusters once again. So finish off this color and we'll start the next section in just a moment. So let's start and use this color again and we're gonna do what you see here but over here. So let's start off in the very beginning and we need to go into the first single crochet where we finished and we are going to just attach it. Oops, I went around the strand. So just attach it and then chain a total of three. So one, two, three. So the clusters are what we already know. So they have two clusters here before the center point. So immediately just start in the first cluster and make a cluster. And then um, coming in to the next cluster and make a cluster. So there's half and we're going to chain three and then in the space in the middle single crochet. So you already know how to go and scoop all these four up but I will quickly review. So chain three and then go into the first cluster with the cluster, second cluster with the cluster, Go into the third one right over here. Oops, I actually have to finish these clusters off when you go to do that. I'm sure that you've done that same mistake too. So make sure you do finish these clusters and let them go. And then do the last cluster. And once you get that last one done, chain three and single in the middle and keep doing that all the way across. So fill it in. You're not done with this color. When you get to the other side we just gotta uh, get ourselves ready for the clusters that we have here and we'll be going back across with this color once more but doing a different stitch. So I'm coming up close to the end and I've got my last grouping of four here. Chain three, one, two and three times. 
Then I'm going to come into the space that is on the top there. Just like that. And then we're going to finish off the final. So we're gonna chain three to begin. And do a cluster in the cluster. And then the next one is cluster in the cluster. And then finally it's a double crochet in the last single crochet. We're gonna keep this color on one more time as we make our way across and we're gonna turn our work and begin the next one. To begin the final row then of this we're going to chain up one and do a single crochet in the double crochet. And then chain one and put in the second cluster. So this is the first put in the second a single crochet. So that's gonna get us established and we're going to treat this like we had treated it before on making sure that we create those chain one spaces just like you did here right in the middle. So to begin you're gonna chain three. So one, two, three, single crochet in the next single crochet and then chain three. So one, two, three and single crochet in the first cluster and we're gonna pretend we're gonna create the center of the daisy. So chain two and then single crochet in the last cluster of that one. So this would be how you would continue to build it out if you wanted to. So chain three. So one, two, three, single crochet in the next single, chain three, go into the first cluster of the grouping of four and you wanna create the center piece. So chain two and go to the last cluster of the grouping of four and then chain three and single in the next single and etc. and do this all the way across and this here is awesome. Let's uh, do that and I'll see you at the end of this row. So I'm coming up all the way to the other side and we're gonna be finishing off this color. Chaining three here and we're just keeping in counts. So we're just coming into the first one of the, cl of the cluster area here and then what we're going to do is chain one. So it's the first cluster and then we're going to do a single crochet in the last turning chain. Let's get rid of this yarn and then we're gonna have some fun and go into the next round which is uh, the next row which is actually kind of tough but we will try to figure, figure it out together and let's get rid of this color and then we'll move back to the gray next. So before we continue into the next color I'm gonna have you put in a stitch marker and I would like you to put the stitch marker right into the spot. So when we're going to follow it across okay so we got our half here and then we got the other half coming here. I want you to put the, the stitch marker right in that single crochet here and we will uh, be paying attention. We'll be doing a repeat pattern and then it just changes on the very end. So we're gonna go back to the very beginning here and we want to um, attach our gray back in and let's begin to do that next. Okay we're gonna begin to do our gray in the top in the single crochet. Let's do like right here and we're gonna do the single crochets. Do you remember it was kind of odd when we did the single crochet here? It's kind of odd here too but we're going to just take our time. So let's just do a standing single crochet and I'll tell you when it's the repeat. So let's just go nice and slow. Skip the chain one space and single crochet in the next single crochet. Then in the next chain three space only put in two single crochet. Put in a single crochet in the single crochet and in the next space here there's only gonna be two single crochet. Okay we're gonna skip over this single crochet and then there's only gonna be two into the next one into the next space and then a single crochet in the single crochet. So it seems kind of odd, right? We need to get our counts right. So here's the repeat going all the way to that stitch marker that I showed you. And the way that I did it is that I have three, two, and two. And if you can remember that, it's not hard. Every one of the single crochets will get used as you're working across now from this point. So I said it's three, two, two. So in the next space there's gonna be three single crochets. So three, okay and then fill in that single crochet and then two into the next space and single into the next single and then two into the next space. 
and then single crochet into the last one. So remember what I said, it's three, two, two. So let's start again. So there's three single crochets in the first set, single crochet in the single, two into the next one, one single into the next, two into the next, and one single into the next and that's the repeat. So remember three, two, two. Please do that all the way across and I'll see you at the end of this row. So coming up all the way to the end of this, I'm actually kind of surprised. I'm actually pretty happy with myself. I'm actually getting these repeats perfectly. <laughs> Shocking. So we're gonna finish up the last um, portion right here and what we need to do is that we need to, we've done the repeat uh, to the end. Okay, so there, that is the end of the repeat and that's where I put the stitch marker. So to finish up this row, we are going to put three into the next one. So one, two, and three. A single crochet in the next single. We're gonna put two into the next one. So one and two, just like that. We are going to skip over the single crochet and single crochet right into the chain one space and then single crochet right into the last one and then that's it. So that would conclude that. So now we're going to begin and we're gonna do our clusters once again and our clusters are what we already know. So when we started the clusters we had to start off with a chain but it's already established here as single crochet. So you, so what I did is that I did misread the pattern. So when, and I said like it's about, like the, the stripe is actually bigger. It's because these single crochets here make it look bigger. And so we want to do these four groupings again of the cluster. So one, two, three, and four. So starting now, we are going to begin and remember how to do a cluster. So you're gonna chain up a total of four. So that was two, three, four. Come into the next stitch here to get it started. So it's just like you were doing it as if it was a chain but this time it's now established. And remember the clusters are equaling three uh, double crochets this time. Like that. You're gonna chain up one and then you're skipping two and single crochet in the next. So I'm gonna leave this with you because this is just a matter of repeating now. So when you look at the blanket, you're repeating what you already know five more times. So then you end up with a total of six of these bands that you see and then you'll end up with just the final layer of the clusters. So and if you wanna make it uh, longer you can do so. You just gotta have the yarn for it and that's pretty awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this for you and get the uh, clusters done. So there will be a four set and then you're gonna do this all over again and continue to do that over and over. And then we have a top and the bottom edge to worry about and then that will conclude that. So there's no, nothing to do on the side edging which is pretty good and uh, we will be paying attention to this as we go. So without further ado, let's uh, just make sure that we have everything done and uh, I will see you next time and next time it means in just a moment. So now we're ready for the border. So at this particular point you should be able to see six stripes. So you see one, two, three, four, five, and six. What I want you to do is that I want, and the border is done on the side that is on the side. So where we stopped right here, there's no border to it. We're just gonna go along the side. Fold your afghan in half evenly and mark with the stitch marker the halfway point where the fold is. And what we want to do is that when we start the, this, we wanna start on the right side. So remember what I did in the very beginning of this, we marked the particular blanket so that we could see the right side. So let's uh, just see where that is. So here is the right side. So just follow it around and then you'll make sure that you're staying on the right side. So I was upside down. So by marking the middle one like I did, we need to get a total of 129 evenly spaced single crochet. By going halfway, I want you to get 65 single crochets in by the time you hit this mark. The other 64 stitches will be between here and then the end. What I found with myself in the years that I've been crocheting is that if I don't do that, I can end up in the last quarter and I still like have way too many stitches that I try to jam in, therefore it will not be even. This gives me a goal to make sure that I get half of the stitches in at the halfway mark and then the other half on the other side. 
So without further ado, let's just grab our yarn and it's the main color that we're working with and let's just evenly space. So let's just create a slip knot and just come right into the side edge here and we're just going to join with the um, a standing single crochet. If you don't want to do that then just uh, join with the slip stitch chain one, one single crochet. So if a uh, standing one is that you put it onto the hook, pull through and then you'll have two loops, pull through two. So you want to evenly space in your single crochets as, so that's number one. So you want to get between one to sixty-five by the stitch marker and then do one to sixty-four by the time that you get to the other side. So just going into the chain work itself and you're just evenly spacing it. You may have to do this more than once but make sure that you do get your 65 in by the time you hit the middle. So that was number two and then just keep working into the chain. This is three and four and five. So now that I have five, when I get into a set of ten, I wanna look to where the stitch marker is and say okay there's ten, 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 ten and just kind of buy it up that way. So you get sixty-five in by the stitch marker. So I'm at the halfway point where I have the stitch marker just jump on over top. I'm not gonna take it out just in case I just have to pull back out and retry. So jumping right over to the next one and get sixty-four evenly spaced single crochets between here and then the end. So this is one, two, three, four and five and keep on going. Now that I've come all the way across I have sixty-four in between the middle point and here. So we're going to turn. So we're gonna do row number two. So the stitch marker can technically come out now. So row number two we're just gonna chain up one and apply one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way across. So one single crochet in each I'll see at the end of this row. Okay, once you come all the way to the end, I just went over the stitch line here so I can get rid of that. So what I can do is that when I turn and do row number three, it's the final row that we're about to do and we're gonna do the clusters like we already know them to do. So we're gonna chain four, so one, two, three, four, coming to the next one and you're gonna do your cluster. So it's the cluster that it looks like the C to C. So do your three, pull through all, chain one, skip two and single crochet in the next and you're gonna do that all the way across and that'll take you to the very last stitch and you are just going to then finish off and weave in your ends. So let me do this and I will see you at the end of this and that will conclude off today's tutorial. So I'm just coming up to my last cluster that I wanna do here. So I'm just coming up to my last cluster that I wanna do. The stitch counts if you maintain them. They should all work out for you. Um, they did on the other side when I did this before. So you do the last cluster, chain one and you're just going to single crochet into the last and that's it. So because this is baby oriented and if you are gonna use it as a uh, throw, I have seen people online that would love to use this as like something to cuddle by the fireplace, all that jazz. You're gonna take that last strand put it onto a tapestry needle and just weave it in and out a total of three times. Just stay within the edging. So one and then going back a second time and then finally third time is a charm. Like so. You're just going to trim and enjoy your baby blanket. So I'll take some photos now and we will hope that you have a great day and make sure that you do weave in all your ends and etc. Have a great one and we hope to see you again. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.